Hey guys, my name is Wen Ting. I'm a graphic designer. I have been doing this series of tutorials teaching people how to uh, draw icons with CSS. Today I'm going to show you a special one, which is an eye icon. Drawing an eye requires some really tricky CSS knowledge that most people don't know about. So I'm going to demonstrate that in Sketch first and then we're going to move over to CSS. Notice that people love Sketch because it, most of the stuff that you, you do in Sketch can be done with, with, with coding. Uh, it doesn't, unlike Photoshop or Illustrator, you have so many functionalities, but it, it cannot be translated to code. Sketch has the ability, but sometimes it doesn't quite do the same thing. I'm going to show you one or two bugs or issues that, 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 that tricks me, that, that bugs me uh, when I'm using S Sketch. So about the eye icon, an eye is a really irregular sh shape, which is really hard to do with CSS. CSS, everything starts with a, with a square, with, with a rectangle, and we can make it less rectangle and more irregular by adding border radius. But do you know that border radius can be applied to four different corners with different values? So let's start with that. I'll show you um, what, what, what I mean by applying different border radius to achieve that eye shape. Again, I'm, my style of icon, I choose, choose it to be line icon. You can have your own design style. You can use the same technique to achieve different design style that you, you created with, with your mockup. So this is a regular square that we can easily get started with. We are coded with CSS. The next step is we'll be we'll add different border radius to the four four corners. Now, for a long time, I never realized that in Sketch you can do that because there is border radius here in the control everything. I saw that's it, but that's, there's a secret secret channel to, to add more, you double click this border and it be become active. You can change, it's like a path editor. Here is where you can change the border radius for each corner. Now here comes the, 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 the tricky part is that it doesn't 100% match what you can do in CSS. What you can do here is actually less than what C CSS can achieve. So we're gonna try to go there but the most perfect graphics is going to be achieved in CSS. This is an idea. This is a draw, drawing board that we're going to sort of see the direction we're going to go in CSS. But since it does, has a limitation I'm about to show you, it, doesn't, it won't create a very perfect eye shape. We're gonna, the, the, the concept is we'll be applying a much bigger border radius on those two corners. So let's go extreme. Now this is the, the tricky part. In CSS, you can actually go further than 15%, which is the limit here. It seems that this is the limit. The border radius stops at the 15, 50%. But in CSS, if you apply 80% or 90%, it will go all the way up to here. So there will be a much bigger arc here, and that is closer to an eye shape. But for now, we're gonna just go this far in CSS. We're gonna do the graphics in, in uh, uh, we're gonna just mock it up here and we're gonna make it perfect in CSS. Here we can add a little bit, maybe one, just a little bit to make it less sharp because in, in the corners uh, compared to the big arc, it can look really sharp, sharper than it actually is to, to the user's eye. So here we have a sort of like eye shape and the next step would be rotating them by 45, 45 degree. That's another thing I dislike about SCAD because this, the rotation, the transform degree is the opposite value in CSS. So it's not as intrusive. When it's 45 pixel here, um, or it, it, it should be negative 45 pixel here, but in Sketch, because it, it, the calculation goes the other way around, 
it has it, it will be actually 45 pixel not negative 45 pixels uh, 45 degree so now we have this eye shape sort of the second thing will be adding the circle inside that will be pretty easy we're going to use a Posido element to create that okay so sort of like that and Again, it's not perfect because the imitation of sketch. We're going to make it much better in CSS. I'll create a new code pen. That's all this HTML that we need. One div. That's a challenge. Sometimes I some icons I find it really difficult or impossible to create with one div. Sometimes I add a little element inside, but that's I, I try to avoid that. But that's the most that I would do. Add a little eye element inside to make a, a, some additional elements for me to manipulate and and creating those graphics with. So I um, starting with a square. Add some border. Make it a little far, far away from the corner so that we can see it better. Okay, now we can add border radius with this short hand. We don't. We can actually do the long way like this. But that's that's far more code than that we needed. So we can just have four values, which is shorthand for this uh, for the top left, top right, lower right, lower left in this order. So let's say I would say ninety percent on this corner, and then twenty percent on those two corners. We have a eye shape. I want to, I, I don't want this to be too so rounded. I'm going to make it 10, hmm, 70. I think the width is actually not that big. Let me revert. Yeah, it is not that big. Fifteen by fifteen pixel. It will be thirteen by thirteen pixel. Seventy-five and let's say fifteen. Yeah, I think that that looks more like an eye. Next step, we're going to make before procedural elements. Again, make the content an empty string to make it show up. Otherwise, the default value before element doesn't even show up. If, without this, no matter how you style it, it doesn't even show. Display block because we want the box module to apply to apply here. And uh, position absolute. And make the parent position relative. And now we need a circle, which is nine by nine, with the border. So the width and height will be seven by seven. Add some border radius, border and border radius. We can do the calculation or we can try to nudge it. The calculation it will be seven pixel seven uh, thirteen pixel, so the gap will be six pixel divided by two. So that will be three pixels. 
and top is three pixels as well. As well. Seems a little too far further away. We must forgot about the border. The border always makes the math a little tricky to, to calculate. Actually, I think that that uh, that circle might be a little too large in this case because after we add those border radius to a larger volume, um, the markup doesn't necessarily refre reflect what's happening on the on the real world in CSS. So I I may have to either make this bigger or make this smaller. I'll try to make it smaller. And now all we have to do is to rotate them by 45 degree. Voila, we have an eye icon. Thank you guys for watching. I will post the code pen in the description uh, field so you can check out the, the code pen example if you have further questions.